We're given a figure here of a vertical pole on which three horizontal forces are exerted, and we're asked which vector diagram shows the resultant force R acting on the pole. First of all, we need to know that uh, we, are not, we cannot change the directions of the vectors given in the diagram. So just by knowing this, uh, we can tell that A is wrong because two of the vectors given are changed, which is this vector, the vertical one, and the direction of this vector as well, which is supposed to be pointing this way, and this one is supposed to be pointing this way. So just by this, we can tell that it's wrong. Same goes for C. We have another vector change here. And same for D. We have this vector changed. So just by looking at the choices, we can tell that B is the correct one. But we can go ahead and prove it. Okay. So, in the question, they started by connecting the vertical vector to the horizontal. So, we can go ahead and try another way. We can start by the vertical one, and then the horizontal one, head to tail, and then the diagonal one. And how we get the resultant by connecting the first tail to the last head by doing this. And we get the same resultant vector as we got in choice B. Now if you go ahead and try another way, starting by the diagonal vector, horizontal, and then vertical. We'll get the same answer. So whether you start with the horizontal vector, vertical, or diagonal first, we still end up with the same resultant vector, which is which looks like this. Now let's go ahead and So we're asked here which pair of quantities do not have the same SI base units. So we need to try each one separately. So we're going to start with choice A. And just by looking at the choices here, we can tell that both of them do have the same SI base units because we know that electromotive force, which is EMF, and potential difference, PD, are both measured in volts. So they do have the same SI base units, but let's go ahead and prove it. They're both measured in volts, so V is equal to IR. I is current, so it's measured in amps. And R is resistance. Resistance is equal to work over charge. Work is force multiplied by distance in the direction of the force. And charge is current multiplied by time, so amperes into seconds, the SI base units of current and time. Again here, force is MA, which is mass multiplied by acceleration. So mass has SI base unit kilograms. Acceleration is meters raised to the power of minus 2. Distance is M over AS. So now, um, if you go ahead and continue working on this formula,
both EMF and potential difference. So A is not a choice here. A is wrong. So let's go ahead and try pressure and stress. We get kilogram multiplied by meter into the power of minus 1 over amperes seconds. When you move them up, they get a negative 1 power. K G M minus 1 A minus 1 S minus 1. So this, so pressure, we all know is force over the cross-sectional area. Force is, as we mentioned in the choice before this, Force is kilogram into m raised to the power of minus 2 over area, which is m squared. So we end up getting kilogram into m minus 2, again into m minus 2, which gives us kilogram into m minus 4. So this is pressure. Now, if we stress is equal to tensile force over the cross sectional area. So, again, force is kilogram into m minus 2 since it's equal to mass multiplied by acceleration and over area which is meter squared so we end up getting kilogram into meters to the power of minus four which is the same as pressure so b is not a choice as well c is spring constant and moment of a force so we know that hooke's law states that F is equal to KX, K is the spring constant and X is the extension and F is the force. So spring constant is force over extension, which is measured in meters. Force is measured in kg m minus 2. So kg m minus 2 over m gives us kg m minus 3 because moving this up we've got m minus 1 Multi they're multiplied by each other so we add these two minus 2 minus 1 equals minus 3 so kg m minus 3 this is the spring constant moment of a force is now for the moment of a force which is the turning effect of a force about a point. It is, the formula is force multiplied by the distance from the point, from that point to the line of action of the force. So force multiplied by distance. So kg m minus 2 into m, m which is uh, m raised to the power of 1. So add these together you get kg m minus 1. So we got that uh, tensile stress is kg m minus 4 and moment is kg 
and minus 1. So they do not have the same SI base units, which means that C is the correct answer because the question asks us which do not have the same SI base units. But let's go ahead and try choice D as well. D is torque and work. Okay, so what is torque? Torque is one of the forces multiplied by the perpendicular distance between those two forces, which is again measured in meters because it's distance. So torque is kg m minus 2 into m. We get kg m minus 1. And work is force multiplied by distance in the direction of the force. So again, measured in meters. Kg m minus 2 for force multiplied by meters. We get kg m minus 1. They're the same. So D is wrong. And we end up with C as an answer.